Hey, y'all. Let me say it again. Jesus, Jesus is Lord, and the, the word, word works. works. You got to believe it and say it. The woman with the issue of word, <laughs> blood, <laughs> she heard about Jesus. She then made the decision to go to Jesus. And then the Bible says, for she was constantly saying, saying. over and over. She was saying and saying. She acted on the word, and then she would not be denied. Now, you wanted to say something about Joshua and Caleb uh, while we're enjoying this. Can you hear those birds out there just again? Oh, yeah. What a beautiful day. Know, Blessings right? of God. Go ahead. Okay. So, you receive, inherit the promises. And listen, all of the promises have been given to us. Everything that pertains to life and godliness. And Peter said, whereby are given to us exceeding great, great and, and valuable or precious promises. promises. Valuable. I like okay. that. Valuable promises. Mm -hmm. Valuable promises. God has given us the promised land. The Bible, the promises in the Bible are your promised land. But, but you've got to go in. Yes. You have to possess your promises just like the children of Israel had to possess their promises. It is your responsibility. It's not God's responsibility to put it on you. Every person has to possess their land. So let me tell you, and the, uh, what the children of Israel did, the physical children of Israel, that is our type and shadow of where we are today. Well, Moses sent 12 spies in to spy out the land, not to see if they could take it, but to see everything that was in there because God had already t told them to go in and possess it. So everything is based on what did God say. Well, they came back and Joshua and Caleb said, now listen to what they said. Come on, preacher. We are, let us go up at once and possess the land, for we, we are, are well, well able, able mm -hmm. to overcome it. Watch this. So, let me go in and possess my divine health, because yeah. I am well, well able, able to possess, to possess that it. land. Yes. And then the other ten spies... And listen, the majority is not always right. Just because there's a big church out there doesn't mean they're right. It, because the 10 spies said, no, we be not able to go in. Look at the difference in the words. We be well able, we be not able. And they brought up a evil, evil report. report and said, I love this. Would, go ahead. In our own eyes. Oh yeah, that's right. We were grasshoppers. And so we were in their eyes. Oh, yeah. The image that you have will come out of your mouth and it'll cause you to be a grasshopper in their eyes. Well, they, those 10 spies caused the rest of the multitude of the children of Israel. They said, listen to what they said, would to God we died in the wilderness. And now, guess what they got? Mm -hmm. Come on. Well, Yes, that's why the serpent showed up, is because they had said with their mouth, would to God we died in the wilderness. God never changes from Genesis through Revelation. He said, I am the Lord, I change not. So everything operates the same from Genesis through Revelation. So listen to what God said to that group of the children of Israel that were to go in and possess the land. He said, as you have spoken in my ears, so will I do to you. He is the same today. So two of them got what, they all got what they said. Every one of them got what they said. But two of them that said, we are well able, let us go in and possess. Those were the only two of that generation that got to possess their land. The rest of them said, would to God we died in the wilderness. And, as they And they all got what they said. Come on, preach. So you are getting today what you are confessing. So confess what the Word says. Believe it, confess it, and possess it. And we got to go again. Hey, y'all have a great day. Until we're with you tomorrow, remember, Jesus, Jesus is Lord, Lord, and the, the Word, Word works. works.